We have relaunched our Bengals and Texans channels here at Chat Sports just in time for next month's NFL draft. So if you're all about the Bengals or the Texans, you should subscribe. YouTube.com slash Bengals TV, YouTube.com slash Texans TV. Those are the sub links, and those sub links are going to be in the comments and the description of today's video. And on today's video, I'm going to be talking about the possibility of a Jonah Williams trade, but it sounds like Bengals head coach Zach Taylor wants to keep Williams on the team and move him to right tackle. What does that mean for Lael Collins? And then with the Houston Texans, they are bringing in five quarterbacks on visits. That includes Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud, but could they still pursue Lamar Jackson? We'll talk about that coming up on today's show. Bengals fans, welcome into Bengals Breakdown. I am Will Scott discussing the latest Cincinnati new Bengals news and rumors. So whether you're having some Skyline chili or eating some Grater's ice cream, we appreciate you watching today's show. And we're talking about Jonah Williams on today's show. Did they deny his trade request? Of course, he put in a trade request with Cincinnati after the Bengals signed Orlando Brown to be the new left tackle. We're going to talk about that on today's show. And if you want more Cincinnati Bengals news and rumors, then subscribe to the channel. We just relaunched our Bengals channel here at Chat Sports. We want to get you guys more content. But in order to do that, we need more subscribers. So hit that subscribe button below if you want more Bengals content here on YouTube. The Bengals have said, uh, that they are going to move Jonah Williams to right tackle. Uh, that is the plan. Zach Taylor was asked about this at the league meetings. Here is what Zach Taylor said. I'm excited to see him come in and compete at right tackle. He's always been everything we wanted him to be about. We've never had issues with him. Hopefully we can work through this and he can come in and compete at right tackle for us. That's what we're counting on him to do. And Jonah kind of struggled last year at left tackle. Had a 61.2 PFF grade, tied for the most sacks allowed in the league. So I do feel like a switch to right tackle might benefit Jonah Williams. That's actually where he started his collegiate career at the University of Alabama, at the right tackle position. Taking a look at the current Bengals depth chart. So if Jonah Williams moves to right tackle, what does that mean for Lyle Collins? I think that it could potentially mean that Lyle Collins uh, would be cut. And I know what you're thinking. Bengals cutting an LSU guy? Yeah, Lyle Collins uh, might get cut uh, if the plan is to move Jonah Williams to right tackle. And Lyle Collins was somewhat of a disappointment last year. Obviously a big splash in for agency. Five sacks allowed in 15 games. But I just don't see a world where they keep both him and Williams around. This could just be talk. Um, you know, Zach Taylor's not going to sit there at the league meetings and say, yeah, we're actively shopping Jonah Williams. I think they want to keep Jonah Williams, and they're probably persuading him, probably talking to his agent right now, trying to make something work. But at the same time, if Williams wants out of town, he is a free agent after the end of next season. You do not want to let him leave without getting something in return. You probably could get a third-round pick for Jonah Williams, and there's a lot of teams out there, including the Chicago Bears, that really need a left tackle. Now, Orlando Brown's going to be a left tackle. There's no question about that. I think there were some question marks coming into his free agency. Would he take a right tackle job? No, he's going to be the left tackle. The big question right now is who's going to be the right tackle? Orlando Brown's going to be left tackle. Who's going to be the right tackle? For the Bengals, is it going to be Lyle Collins or Jonah Williams? It depends on if J Jonah Williams gets traded or not. Will Jonah Williams be traded? Why for yes or in for no down in the comment section? I wouldn't be surprised either way. You know, I think they want to keep him around. I think they're going to try to talk to him about making the switch, but there's going to be a lot of interest for this guy. There's already been a lot of interest for Jonah. That interest is going to continue here in the weeks before the NFL draft. Welcome into Texans today. I am Will Scott talking about the latest news and rumors involving your Houston Texans. And if you're all about H-Town and the Texans, then subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get you guys more videos. And in order to do that, we need more subscribers. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. Let's get there by the end of the week. Go down, hit that subscribe button below, youtube.com slash Texans TV. We're about a month away from the NFL draft, and the Texans hold two of the top 12 picks. They are expected 
to use that second overall pick on a quarterback, and it has been known that the Texans are meeting with both with both Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud ahead of next month's NFL draft, and they could have one of those guys, more, more than likely, are going to have one of those guys starting under center for Houston last season. You can't go wrong with either one of these star quarterbacks. Bryce Young, over 3,200 passing yards last season at Bama, won the Heisman the year prior. C.J. Stroud, over 3,600 yards, over 40 touchdowns. Really talented quarterbacks here uh, between Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud. D'Amico Ryans was asked about Bryce Young specifically at the league meetings. Here's what he said. I know there's a lot of talk about his size, but the guy's done it at the highest level of college football, and size doesn't seem to be a problem. I don't see it as an issue because I watch the tape. You put on the tape, and you see how smart he is. The anticipation, the accuracy, how this guy's calm in critical moments. When you see those things, size isn't one of the factors you look at and say, oh man, it's a prop. You just look at the track record and see what he's done in the SEC and how successful he was. And I agree with D'Amico. Uh, people are overreacting about the size here. Drew Brees going to be a Hall of Famer. Size was not an issue for him, and it was not an issue for Bryce Young at Alabama, where he won a Heisman Trophy and won a lot of football games. Tom Palacero tweeted this, saying, not only are the Texans bringing in quarterbacks Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud for visits, they've already brought in Kentucky's Will Levis for a visit and plan to bring in Flores Anthony Richardson, too. A thorough evaluation as they ponder the number two pick. So here are the confirmed meetings. Aaron Wilson's reporting that they're going to meet with Hendon Hooker as well. So they're going to meet with Young, Stroud, Levis, Richardson, and Hooker. They're probably deciding between those four guys for the number two overall pick. Probably meeting with Hendon as well in case they trade back or in case they don't take a quarterback around one. But I fully expect uh, the Texans to take a quarterback at number two overall. And they're probably going to take whoever's not picked at number one between Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud. Maybe the best case scenario for Houston is the Panthers take Levis or Richardson at one, and then you get to pick between Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud for the number two pick. Uh, but I do believe it's going to be either Young or Stroud in Houston next season. Who should Houston take number two overall? Let me know down in the comment section. Who should the Texans take at number two overall? There's been some rumors that maybe the Texans will trade that number two pick and maybe number 12 as well to Baltimore for Lamar Jackson, who made his trade request public earlier this week. But Aaron Wilson says this, and he's very much plugged in uh, with Houston. Texans are indeed not expected to pursue Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson per source. As focus is on NFL draft quarterback prospects, including visits with Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, Will Levis, Anthony Richardson, and Hendon Hooker. And this is the right call. Lamar Jackson, that trade idea was very intriguing, right? But if you're the Texans right now, giving away two top 12 picks is just not the answer. You're rebuilding, right? You're adding talent. You're going to add a lot of young talent in this draft. Take whoever's not taking number one between Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud. I think the Texans fans should be happy with either one of those guys, and then add a receiver at 12, and then uh, those two guys are going to play a big part in your future. But I do not think the Texans should be trading number two and number 12 for Lamar Jackson, although it was an intriguing idea. We're always going to have you covered with Texans news and rumors. That's the sublink right there. Go and subscribe, youtube.com slash Texans TV.